All right, Adam recorded this video like three times. I'm so over it at this point, but I still wanna get it done. So whatever. This is now take four of just starting the video. I ain't even got to the questions yet. Oh my God. All right, so welcome to Binge up better joke. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back. If you're new, my name is Jaden. It's nice to meet you. The people call me Jay. So yeah. Was my ashy elbow in the camera? Disgusting. Disgusting! Um, today, as promised, I'm coming back to do my second video. And I said in my last video that I want to do an introduction. So I'm gonna do it. Um, however, unlike the rest of these people, I do not have a large following on social media. I'm barely even on it, but I only have like a hundred people who follow me, majority from high school. Anytime I ask a question, they be like, We do not care. Whatever. But yeah. I probably got like 100, 200 followers at max. I'm probably downplaying that a little bit, but whatever. Anyways, go follow me. Go follow me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah that's what you should do. Please, I'm asking nicely. Anyways, um, so, cause that's getting on my nerves. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna just be looking up some random questions and answering basic questions that I think people would want to know. It's so loud outside. I forget the kids get home around this time from school. They fighting? They must be fighting each other with the bikes and scooters because animals. Okay, sorry. That was getting on my last nerves. Just always like moving it, get out my face, no. All right, so anyways, first question, who are you? I'm Jaden, my name is Jaden Bragg. Um, but I go with, I just bit the freak out of my side of my mouth. I go with Jay because I don't know, just something about saying Jaden, actually saying it now kind of sounds a little snazzy, but it's such a like, I don't know how to really describe it. I always get like a really bad, like feeling whenever I say my name. I always got teased for having a boy name, so I don't know, like the ick just kind of like stuck with me about having a boy name, so whenever I say my name, it's very uncomfortable to say it. I just, I like to be called Jay, and people who know me call me Jaden, but I'm like, hold on Fenty. Whoa, 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 now. Hold on now. Okay, yeah, let's not get that white gummy stuff. <laughs> I paid a good hefty dollar for you. Anyways, I go by Jay Demore. Demore is my middle name. And I always had the ick about that too. I think I got that from my sister though, because we both share the same middle name. And she just always made it seem like it was nasty. So, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm named after a, um, a movie star. It's her last name, but the R is changed into an N. Wait. Next question, my age, I'm 20. I can't wait to just like slam my freaking ID on the table and be like, I'll take my drink, please. Thank you. Um, My birthday, March 23rd, I'm an Aries, period. And don't you ever forget it. You better not ever confuse me with no freaking Pisces. I know that much, okay? Nothing wrong with Pisces. My baby brother's a Pisces. I have a Pisces moon, it's just, I'm not no Pisces. Yeah. So the reason why I'm starting my channel is, and a lot of people don't know this, but I do sing. I am not a musician, really. Okay, so I haven't really done anything to like put myself out there as far as music. I've done like, sorry. I used to do like stuff in choir. I would go to like choir concerts and stuff and perform there at, in high school. But like anything outside of that, no, I really haven't. I really want to um, put myself or learn to put myself out there when it comes to music. I'm trying this year to get a vocal coach. Um, 
and really test my vocal ability and see like how far I can go, get some really good training because I don't want to go out there into the music scene and um, totally like screw it up because I don't know what I'm doing and like end up damaging like my vocal cords in the long run because singing is what I've done ever since I've like been born, okay? But um, yeah, so as well as, I was going somewhere with this. Oh, okay. As well as in music, you ha it's all about like connections and about who you know. I don't know nobody. So, I mean, I can't really like do anything because I don't know nobody. So, you know, I have to build a certain fan base and that's what, you, what I want to do with my YouTube. I want to build a fan base, but not only with music because I get bored of stuff fast. Um, I'm basically just starting the channel just so I can pretty much like kind of get myself out there. Like, I want people to be able to, like, recognize me and see, like, how I am. Build a fan base of people who know how I am. And that way, when I start music, you know, you guys can decide for yourself if you want to, like, mess with it or not. But, you know, I write in the background. I write songs. Right now, I'm just, like, filling up a journal full of, like, songs that I've written. And, yeah. That's all I got. I like to make content um i always have i wish i had proof <gasps> i do have proof okay so like in high school i would do like video production and make little short films and stuff and like like try to do um video editing and stuff and photo editing um also when i was like younger i used to make like little um what are they the little slideshows on our freaking family computer about like the reason i love dogs or and all about me stuff you know like ever since i got like introduced into like slideshows and powerpoints i've always done them like i got a whole flash drive full of them so i've just always been into content creating that's just how i am always every camera i've had it's always full of like just stuff so i mean yeah i'm itching the freak out of this mosquito but it feel amazing Oh my gosh, this is so funny because as I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it. So it says, do you still have your childhood teddy bear? Yes, I do. This is him. This is my childhood teddy bear. And yes, he's ripped, but I sewed him back up. So don't even, don't even trip on him. This is Mr. Freckles. I've had him since I was a baby. My big brother gave this to me and I never lose him. It's us against the world matter of fact boom oh i can answer this hold on let me go get it the question is what's in my purse so this is my purse it's a fanny pack i got this for christmas i was definitely in my fanny pack era and my brother and sister totally took advantage of that and they're like let's go get her a fanny pack it's a guest fanny pack it's really cute can you see the indentation or whatever yeah um this is champagne toast i got my credit card I got my credit card. I've got my wallet. Um, I got some tip money, debit card. I got, I got my ID. You guys wanna see something actually? Because I don't think you guys have ever seen me with short hair. But yes, I was definitely living. I don't know if you're supposed to show this, but I'll just show you my freaking, look how cute it was. Yes, let's get into it. Okay. Oh, the nails? No. Anyways, I got a quarter. Okay. How tall am I? I'm five foot one. Standing at a what's the word? <laughs> I'm standing at a whopping five foot one. Okay. The pounds are none of your business. Um, but yeah, so Oh my god, that just reminded me of such a cringing moment at the hospital, but yeah. If I could live anywhere, where would that be? I thought I had this question in the bag until I really started thinking about it. I used to watch this movie called um, Baby Boom with Diane Keaton, and my mom showed me that. And ever since I saw that movie, I've always been in love with the idea of buying the big old house in Vermont with a lake in the, in the backyard or something. And fixing it up with a little apple orchard. 
so cute. Mm. But yeah, that's where I'd go. It's like peace and serenity. It's a small little town too. They probably have like a vet and one major store, you know? Do you like scary movies? I actually love scary movies. It's my favorite genre, horror. Horror, the horror. Horror. My older sister, Jasmine. Shout out to you, Jazz. Oh, oh. I'm not trying to see my broken phone. And this helpful. I guess she pretty much like made me like scary movies. When we were kids, we would always share a room. Um, and she just loved to go to sleep to scary movies. And I'm not really sure why. I know that when The Conjuring came out, she literally put it on every night to go to bed and left me to deal with it. Curse you for that, ma'am. You are a mean woman for that. And you knew I didn't like that movie. And that freaking man's freaking red face was showing up in the screen. And she over here slumped. Now I gotta creep towards the TV and turn it off. You ain't right, bruh. I ain't never letting that go. On Saturday mornings, we would watch My Haunted House on Lifetime, which are pretty much like reenactment um, shows of like people dealing with haunted houses. But we would always watch that. And I don't know, I guess my love for like horror movies really started there. Cause now I watch them all the time. Mm. Yeah. Do you like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. Roller coasters are so much fun. And I really don't like, oh, I really don't like people that like go to amusement parks and then say that they're not gonna get on the ride because boo, you're boring. Um, that's boring. Why did you come? That's really stupid. Yeah. I get on, I try to, my mission every time I go to some type of amusement park is to get on every ride. I don't care if it's a kiddie ride. I'm getting on that ride. That just only makes sense. Like I paid like $30 to get in here and $50 to eat. I'm going to get on every ride, especially if I have a wristband. Let me on there. Because it doesn't make sense for you to say, mm, I'll just hold your purse. You're weird. They have lockers for that. Get a fanny pack. Uh, do you eat meat? Um, yes, I do eat meat, but I'm trying to go back to being a vegetarian because I was a vegetarian for a little bit and then I stopped. Um, what's my star sign? I'm an Aries. I mentioned that earlier. I'm an Aries sun. I'm a Pisces moon and I'm a Leo rising. Yeah. So just in case you want to know that. Do I have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. I had a lot of pets as a kid. Um but yeah my most recent pet she unfortunately passed away she was older and we had to put her down because she had um i think they said something was going on with her brain but pretty much the operation was way too expensive to operate i didn't even know if that was going to fix it or not so we had to unfortunately put her down rest in peace gabby i love you my favorite cat um where am i from i'm from sacramento if you did not know, I'm from Sacramento, California. Um, are you more artistic or a math <laughs> person? Sorry, I had to read that again because I suck at math. I am definitely more artistic. I took ceramics, I took two art classes, I took choir, I took acting classes. I'd even take theater if they offered it. Oh, they did offer it, but the kids in there were weird. So, no, and I hate math. I had to repeat it three times. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. I graduated. Thank you. Favorite band? Will forever and always be the internet. Yes. Um, can you curl your tongue? Actually, fun fact, I can. Mm-hmm. But this girl named Francesca in like third grade taught me how to like do the little clover tongue thing i could do it hold on i gotta cover this though huh pretty cool right <laughs> anyways um am i religious yes i'm christian um i guess i can really speak on this just a little bit because this is my year's goal is to really get closer to god and really get into church more and um pray more i'm like i really need to get myself very much involved in my church and i don't know why i won't do that so i need to get on that like seriously do you want children no ma'am no ma'am my best achievement what's my best achievement 
My best achievement is overall, hands down, being a great friend. Nobody can ever tell me I was ever a bad friend. If we ever fell out, you can never say that I was a bad friend. Because I never let the situation angry and I never let the situation with hate. All love to all of you guys. You know, even the people who did me wrong. But I was never a bad friend. I always went above and beyond for my friends. And if we ever fell out, it was probably because you did something. Or it was probably because I found out you did something and I decided to retract myself as a freaking solution. So either way it all ties up to you but nobody can ever say i was a bad friend come on now what is the main fear about starting a channel my main fear with starting the channel is that i won't be consistent that's what it really boils down to i have a really bad tendency of being such a, a, one of the biggest procrastinators ever i cannot for the life of me ever stay consistent with something and it sucks because whenever it starts to get hard i'll be like you know i quit i'm done i'm out of here there's always got to be another way but i want to really stop doing that like i hate that about myself like truly i hate that and i definitely just like don't want it to boil down to my youtube channel because i actually want to do this i've been putting this off for like a year or two i'm really trying to get into it so i'm gonna stay consistent um are you going to show your real personality or are you a character this is my real personality this is me the only thing that's not real right now is that i'm this quiet and the only reason why i'm this quiet is because i don't want my family to hear me talking to myself <laughs> even though they're outside i literally kept stopping the camera on and off and off because I really get like embarrassed when people hear me talking to the camera and I don't understand why, but that's why I won't film in public and stuff. Like when people start to hear and see me like talking to camera, it makes me feel really like anxious. I just can't do it for some reason, but yeah, I'm just, I'm always like this. I'm just louder and a little more extra, but you'll see, especially if I stay consistent, you're gonna see. Okay. Uh, why should people follow your channel? This is a great closing out um, thing. This is a great girl. It's called a question. I'm gonna tell you why. You ever been at home bored? You don't know what to do, and you just want to watch something on TV or YouTube, and you don't got nobody out there because everybody trying to be fake and everybody trying to do you know stuff for views. That's not me. I'm as real as it gets and I really think that you should watch me because yeah because I said so no I'm just kidding I'm pretty sure in one of my videos I'm gonna guarantee to make you laugh so you might as well like if you're having a bad day come here I got you bring it in I ain't really figured that out I just kind of jump into stuff so I mean what was the question again? <laughs> Jesus. If you're looking for somebody to watch and you're like, oh, this is a guaranteed like pick her upper, that's me. That's me. Okay. Um, but yeah. That's all I got. If you like this video, um, This is really why. Like, why are you doing all that? Oh, I do want to do a video about me decorating my room because it definitely is very bland. And Amazon lost my package, so I was going to film that, but they freaking like. Girl, I can't with you. Sit on the bed. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like it, comment, subscribe, tell a neighbor, tell a friend, tell somebody, tell your ride or die. I don't know um but yeah all right i'm leaving now goodbye <laughs>